Good morning and welcome to the most exciting time of the day where we receive God's word through the rhapsody of realities. It is the 28th of July and Pastor Chris teaches on the power of a compelling desire. Glory to God. In our opening scripture from James chapter 5 verse 16, it writes, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There is a promise of a higher realm of life for you regardless of where you are presently. But until and unless you have a compelling desire for it, you may not move to that new and higher realm of life. Let's look through the scriptures for two examples of those whose lives were transformed as a result of their compelling desire for a change in their circumstances. In the early period of the history of the nation of Israel, some had become comfortable with the Egyptian lifestyle and possibly forgotten about the land God promised their forebears, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. However, it wasn't until they were subjected to slavery and the Egyptian whips bruised and tore into their skin that they remembered God's promise. Suddenly, Israel's desire for a new for a change grew and God heard their cry and sent Moses a deliverer to bring them out of slavery and lead them into the promised land. There is another inspiring story of a woman named Hannah in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 1 to 21. She had no child because she was barren and had been in this situation for many years. Her situation seemed bearable because her husband loved her very much. However, the tide turned for her when her rival began to goad her with her condition. Suddenly, she became sad and very desperate. This time, her husband's efforts to assuage her grief was meaningless. Her desire for a child had become overwhelming. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 10, she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. In these two situations, God's response came as a result of a strong desire for a change. So, do you desire a change in your situation today? Do you want the power of the kingdom of God to produce results for you? Then your heart must reach out. You must be bursting with a strong desire. This is just the beginning of the steps you need to take and to make a lasting change in your life. To learn more on the subject, get our book, When God Visits You. Hallelujah! How informative and instructive. Now you have discovered one needful principle in the kingdom to make a change and that is having a compelling desire. But that's not all. Search out the scriptures and find out more. Wherever you are, I invite you to partake in this prayer as you repeat after me. Dear Father, thank you for the inner strength to desire and experience the supernatural in my life. Ministry, finances, business and career. More than anything else, I desire your righteousness to fill the nations and that through me, many be won into your glorious kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory to God. In our further study section, Pastor Chris has given these scriptures for you to study further on in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18, Psalm chapter 37 verse 4 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Hallelujah! We trust that this has stirred your spirit to let others know what you just learned and how powerful these principles are when effecting changes in your life. When you find out who the Christian truly is, you won't want to keep quiet about it. Join us today by subscribing to this channel to receive articles like this from the Rhapsody of Realities daily. And don't just keep this to yourself. Bless your loved ones with the opportunity to hear God's word and their lives will never be the same. We want to thank you all for what you're doing in moving the gospel forward as we continue to reach the ends of the earth with this message. If you want to receive this life in Christ, wait to the end of this video and you'll be guided in the prayer of salvation. Let us know that you thought this was worth hearing by sharing your testimony in the comments down below and tune in again tomorrow and be blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. 
I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnmsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.